Well, her birthday was two days ago, so oh. no, she, she would have been 79. My, uh, what's motivating me now is just allowing I me mean, having an opportunity to, like Kelly and Trevante and uh, mm -hmm. Nick and Sean and, and Shannon, all mm -hmm. these amazing people in the movie, to get an opportunity for them to see themselves in ways that they never may not have had it mm -hmm. not been for having this opportunity so that motivates me that motivates you yeah. okay i gotta ask you about medea because oh, lord. Oh, you know lord. i had to oh lord how could i not oh lord remember okay. how you said that that yes was... i know what i said <laughs> what is you asking me yes 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 <laughs> we well, yeah. thought it was put to bed <laughs> yes but here she comes Yeah. She's she's roaring back. What's mm -hmm. going to happen? I don't know <laughs> just yet, but I can tell you this. There's so much going on in the world. There's so much anger and yeah. sadness and vitriol and division. And every time I see that, I just want to make people laugh. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. And you got something going with Kerry Washington. Yeah. is a project that I, first of all, I hadn't heard this story. I think it's a remarkable story from World War II. Yeah. How did you find it? And how, tell me about Carrie's uh, role in this. Uh, it's the story of it's the 6888 Postal Battalion and it was 855 uh, women of color who actually went over to Europe during World War II that nobody talked about for a long mm -hmm. time. They just started to get some recognition. Al did a, he did mm -hmm, a great sure. special on them. There was a, a segment on them I thought was wonderful. But uh, Nicole Avon brought me this story and said, hey, you know, we really should do this. And we got Carrie. involved and now we get to honor these women and then have the whole world see what their contribution was and it's really powerful. I want to talk about your life for a second because yeah. I just watched your commencement address at Emory University before I started the day because yeah. I wasn't yeah. you know I woke up yeah. feeling a little bit in a funk and this mm -hmm. this kind of elevated me mm -hmm. and you told a story about how you were going to work at a car sales mm -hmm. place. Yeah. And you got overlooked. You did yeah. not. You did not get that job. What did the owner of that place tell you, and what did it teach you? Yeah, he, well, he wouldn't. He wouldn't interview me. He was one of the salesmen, and he said that you, you. He looked at my application. He said, "Well, you didn't finish this line. You didn't finish this line. You don't finish." Anything. You didn't finish high school. You, you didn't, didn't finish, finish college. college. Yeah, you don't yeah. fit. You're not yeah. a finisher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're mad at this I'm, guy. I'm mad. I ball the paper up. I'm offended by it. I'm just. This is. You're just. You know, racism picking on me, and I. I leave, but that sat with me. So everything I do in life, I make sure I finish it now, over and. over again. So that bad moment turned into something good for now. I, I do not leave anything undone. You're a finisher I'm now. I'm a finisher, for and sure. And that, that made me think of the very first project that you put out there into the world. It took yeah. you, just for people who are at home saying, yeah. maybe something's not meant for me, it took you seven years for that to succeed. Why wasn't that God saying to you, look, this isn't the right thing as opposed to finish it. Because it wouldn't let me rest. So that's like I tell people, if you've got a dream, this thing keeps, you try to walk away and it keeps needling, you can do this, you can do it, you can do it. That's my God voice. I feel like that's the God voice saying, go, do it, do it, do it. And that's the thing that wouldn't let me rest. Had I ignored that I don't know what would happen but I'm glad I followed it all the way through because I'm sitting here talking to you now so your mom's birthday was two, a couple days, two ago. days ago what yeah. did you do on that day you know what I learned to do was, there's only been 15 of them since she's died right mm -hmm. get out of bed that was the thing I had to do so that 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 I was happy about I was able to get out of bed and start my day yeah do you think about her every day every day every day every moment yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. 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 She must be so proud of you. Yeah. I know she was before she passed, and I'm yeah. sure she's. Yeah. I feel we, her. Well, yeah. we love you. This is a great, you're right. Keep the kids out of the yep. room. Yep. Get ready to mm -hmm. be a little scared. All the good things. It's, super it's a, sexy, super steamy. You know how you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, you're going to come back on the fourth hour and visit with yes. me and Jenna. Okay, yes. good. And we want everyone to know, Mad Culpa hits Netflix on February the 23rd. Friday. What? Friday.